the beginning of the soul. What we're going to do in this video is start to activate a sense of identity to the soul and originate back within its source. So, for many of us, when we are raised within this society, we're conditioned to not very much take the soul seriously. We're conditioned to identify with the world we live in and how to sustain an existence, how to learn how to be very effective at running the program of this system. Some things that we're not taught or very much esoteric patterns within our life sometimes awaken us to these kind of almost parallel conjunctions within ourselves which raise our awareness and, and that we are gifted the opportunity to break free of this conditioned mindset and when these um, you could say upheavals of energy interact with us whether that's a conscious paradigm shift or whether that's just a a moment in our lives where we change our perspective on on life for many of us we're stuck within the system of which we only contain a certain awareness based on the purpose we feel a lot of us are also we we lack the the drive we lack the momentum therefore we're just stuck within the system and the system is barbaric the system is obnoxious to a sense of identity to the soul and what i want to talk a little about in this video is just identifying to the soul and what the soul may be the essence of the soul so f to get to this sub on to, to start the subject it's so crucial to understand that this reality which we're perceiving is only a dream it's a manifestation within an existence taking form of the human being we may be experiencing a dream which is interacting with the image of an existence or source which ultimately gives us the choice to reflect and the image be the representation of a certain potential which will almost like at a at a theater the projector projects the movie and the movie will play out as long as we allow it to play out once we take control and choose ultimately what we want to share what we want to express we take control of what image we project into this world one theory could be is that we are effectively designed and we are inseminated within this reality to perceive the programming which we are subjected to and unless we consciously activate within a you could say the soul and we will get to what the soul may be unless we activate we will only stay within the programming of the dream of the reality which we're experiencing what the soul may be and this is the beautiful thing is that it's not that we don't know what the soul is <laughs> that's the magical thing is that the soul is effectively the essence of existence itself it's the continuum 
It's the momentum within continuum. And within continuum, momentum exists. And that existence is effectively awareness shifting within parallel infinity to coincide with a sense of singularity of awareness. And that singularity is effectively one aspect of soul. And collectively, all souls unite as one. And that united existence is what we could reflect as infinite awareness, infinite consciousness. Consciousness being the paradigm of awareness. And once activated, the human psyche will, will disintegrate to, to continuum, to momentum, to forever. It doesn't matter what we call it. Some people may call it God. What truth, truthfully matters is that we understand that this reality is only a dream. It's a manifestation of matter. And this manifestation of matter is only an imagination of a certain degree. Once we form a basic mathematical equation within ourselves, which is as long as we are experiencing and, equ and equating our experiences to a positive, we are able to learn from our experiences. And once we learn from our experiences, we release from attachment to the physical world. We release, our, we release ourselves from the attachment to the physical world, which essentially, from a physics point of view, enhances the momentum of our existence. The density which we live in within this dream can get extremely dense into different wavelengths of, of experience from deep depression. If we have a look into the science behind depression, people, their frequency, their energy, it's extremely low, it's dense. It's resonating at a very low frequency. And this frequency can be rationalized as as essentially frequency, speed of, of sound. Once we start to consciously activate choices and implement actions to our choices, figure out mathematically what reactions are equating to a sense of positive and the positive meaning within terms of uplifting our energy, adding to our adding to our awakening we will start to shift our our momentum within existence we will start to exist at a a frequency of enhancement expansion and once we start to activate and make rational choices based on wisdom and truth we will understand that the soul itself is the manifestation of infinity, of its divine nature. And all we are experiencing is that singularity within infinity. And divine righteousness is to understand that the singularity belongs to the whole. And the whole itself is only a reflection of its singularity and the soul or the souls of this singularity will always be guided back to its whole wholesome truth you can get deep and start to philosoph philosophy on on truths and it's not necessarily about truth as every soul's truth will be unique and different, as we are all in search of a, or seeking 
a different path back to the source. What's crucial to understand is basic mathematics. Once we start to equate and rationalize what decisions are creating certain actions, we can calculate what reactions will serve us and uplift us and shift us within momentum, momentum expansion. And those states of being are signs of, of, of dedication. Dedication is, is the guidance for our expansion. And it's very basic. It's very basic. And if I, if I just wanted to get one point across in this video is that truth will always resonate with us. The mind will do its best to manipulate the truth, to deceive the truth into thinking, into turning it into ignorance. That is what the mind will do. It, the mind is potentially designed to create the bombardment of thought over the truth, to sink the truth and turn us into, a, into ignorance. Once we can harness the mind and learn to connect with our truth, we become an infinite projection of momentum. And once we continue to move forward within momentum, we will realize that everything which we are existing within is only an experience to generate choice. And once we reflect within that choice and the choices we make will always ex will always bring a certain experience, we can ultimately saturate within that experience to expand and expand into in, in search of more truth. And that's the beautiful thing about this reality is that it will always feed us more truth. When we're ready, when we're experience, experiencing a certain existence or frequency, there will always be more to reveal. And that may be the essence of the soul is to expand until it reaches back to the wholesome value of its of its oneness but at the end of the day it's always going to be we we will only understand once we've connected there and that's why we just don't know and you, you know anyone could make a video and and try and give some truth but at the end of the day <laughs> you never know <laughs>